today we're painting a hello flamingo sign i lost my e so i am replacing it with an o that's why it says hola so one of the l's is replaced by the flamingo um legs so what i'm going to do is i'm going to paint my small pieces first i am going to start by painting my flamingo a pink so i'm just mixing a little white with a tiny bit of red and i'm going to paint my flamingo and you could do whatever shade of pink you'd like and I'm just going to paint the body, the neck, and the head of my flamingo, making sure to leave the beak unpainted. Once the flamingo is painted, I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to work on the wing. So the wing, I'm just gonna do a darker shade of pink. So I'm not even gonna wash my brush. I'm just gonna put a little red on it and just start painting it. You might have to go back and do a second coat, but do as much as you can now. The letters are next and using black, I'm gonna paint my letters. I'm going to use, you could use your smaller brush or your bigger brush, whatever you feel comfortable with. So I am just going to paint my letters black and then I'm gonna go back and paint my legs on my flamingo black as well. Next, I'm gonna go back and paint my flamingo's beak. Now, I didn't paint the whole head pink, so I'm gonna also go back and finish painting my head pink. After I do the pink on the head, I am just gonna take some white and I'm gonna add some texture to my flamingo's body. So flamingos are covered in feathers, so I'm just adding little strokes of different colors of whites and pinks, just so there's a little texture on our flamingo's body. You could even take some red and you could add some red so you get some dark pink coming through as well. I'm gonna get let all my little pieces dry while the little pieces are drying a bit. I'm gonna paint my background now my background, I gave you guys teal to use. You could add white to this teal, so it could be a lighter teal, but this is just acrylic paint, so if you have any at home, you could use whatever you'd like. So I am just gonna paint this board. I'm gonna probably try and put two coats, and then we'll come back and add some streaks to the board.
gonna put my board aside to dry and I'm gonna go back to my little flamingo. I'm gonna take a little brush and I'm just gonna put a tip of black on to the beak of my flamingo, just as simple as that. You could also take some time if you need to go over your legs or your letters a little bit while you have black on your brush. Now's a good time. Then I'm just gonna wash out my brush and I'm just gonna continue to add a couple more leaf, uh, feathers to add that detail to our flamingo. All my little pieces are done and they're pushed to the side and now I'm going to add some white streaks to the background of my board. When you do this you're going to use your big brush and a little bit of paint goes a long way. I'm using the paper plate to take off some paint and I am just going to lightly just br brush some streaks of white into that background. It's going to soften it up, give it a little rustic feel. And you could add only put a little bit of paint on your brush at a time because you could always add some, but it's harder to take it away. If you find that you're putting too much white in spots, just let it dry for a couple minutes and then you could go back with some teal over it. So I'm just putting streaks in the background. Once the streaks are finished, I'm gonna let everything dry and then we'll come back and glue everything. My background is dry, so I'm gonna start laying out all my pieces. I'm gonna lay out my flamingo first, and then my letters. And just remember, I don't have an E, so that's why it says hola with two L's. Um, so I'm just laying everything out. Once you lay it out, all you need to do is you're gonna take some glue. Any basic glue will do, like I'm using wood glue, but you could use Elmer's, you could use probably hot glue, but that doesn't work the best. Any tacky glue, any white glue that you have. So a little bit of glue goes a long way. So you're just going to flip over your pieces, put a little glue on the back, and then you are ready to go. Once you have it glued, let it dry for like 20 minutes and then you could, it's like a little leaner sign, you could lean it up against something. Mm -hmm. 